Good evening, everybody. This is Robin with another edition of Horror Pop After Midnight. And my guest tonight is writer Eric Winkler. How's it going, Eric? Good. Robin, how are you doing? Pretty good. Hey, Vic just came on, too. And also, oh. director Vic Domangus. Welcome to the show. Yeah, he he should be on there. Um, let's talk about um, your Halloween fan film, Michaela. How'd you come up with uh, Michaela? And um, when I found out you were doing this short film, I'm I'm a fan of the Halloween films and John Carpenter, so you must be too. Yeah, for sure. I guess I came up with it because, um, you know, not all of the Halloween sequels have been. Uh, they're they're not all equal. Uh, so I thought it would be a, a good way to sort of continue things, uh, be an homage to the, uh, you know, the films that we love. Uh, um, and, uh, uh, I wish I should look it up. One of the toy manufacturers, uh, made a little like figurine that was like a young woman in a, um, uh, uh, Michael Myers, you know, jumpsuit and she had the mask off and everything. And I was like, well, okay, so that's a good inspiration. Like, let's, uh, let's, you know, switch this up. And, you know, most everything I write is, is, um, you know, uh, involves somebody who's not a straight white male, you know, as a, as a straight white male, I feel like I can say that I just don't find our demographic as, as, as interesting. So I, I just wanted to, uh, you know, do something that paid homage, uh, to the John Carpenter films, have it be female centric, like our movie, I'm Lisa is, um, uh, and, uh, basically also, you know, we, we did the, the feature film, I am Lisa, and we had some, some local actors with some real talent, some, some younger actors, and they, uh, they, they didn't have a very big part in I am Lisa. And I basically just wanted to, um, uh, do something that, that put that, showcase their their acting ability a little bit better or uh, a little bit more and plus you know the 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 i am lisa casting crew pretty much came together like a family and so it, any any time i can um uh get the band back together so to speak it, it's always uh it's always uh, something that I, I i like to do if i can well let's talk about the actress who plays michaela um was she, did you have her in mind or did you have several actresses audition for that no i basically wrote it for her um uh, yeah her name is amy lynn nelson um good friend of mine uh she looks like she's aubrey plaza's little sister uh so uh yeah no and plus i just i just thought her look was great for for the michaela role so um yeah, so I, I basically wrote it for her, and and um, the uh, uh, the sort of the Laurie Strode character, um, uh, I wrote that part for her, and the uh, what's the the guy on Scream um, in the first Scream who was one of the two killers, and he played Shaggy and Scooby Doo, and his name I can't remember, but um, I sort of yeah yeah, so I I wrote. Um, that part for frederick because he's he's a really good actor too so that's pretty and good then with his cousin shelby as, as the final piece of the puzzle so. so vic um you're also the director of this halloween fan film um how'd you uh get hooked up with eric <clears throat> i uh, i met eric because uh i was a first ad on i am lisa um so i met him through that, uh, through, uh, that experience. And, um, we, you know, uh, working on that film, he and I obviously get along and we like a lot of the same movies. And so, um, he really wanted to, uh, make a short and, uh, I mean, I kind of wanted to make a short too, and we just had some time. So he had this script and, you know, uh, asked me to, uh, helmet for him. So, it was a fun. Uh, it was a fun experience. 
Yeah, um, let's talk about the cinematography. Um, there was one scene I loved. It, um, whoever was the cinematographer made that shot beautiful. It was a shot behind some houses, and you see the fall trees. It looks like you were like staring into a backyard. I mean, that was a pretty good, uh, solid, crisp shot. Yeah, uh, the, my DP was uh, a buddy of mine. His name's Lucas Cohen, uh, uh, local here to Kansas City. Uh, Lucas and I, we, so I met Lucas a few years ago on, uh, we both were a crew on uh, two seasons of Queer Eye uh, for Netflix. Um, I was uh, the key grip and he was uh, one of the camera operators. So me and him became buds working for like five months straight together on that and then um he dp'd uh, another short of mine called uh, beer and cigarettes um and um i anytime a lot of times when he is dp'ing something uh he'll call me up to gap or key grip for him or you know crew up with him so uh he and i just have a really good working relationship and uh we kind of have a uh, sort of a shorthand when it comes to uh you know, putting together a shot or whatever. Um, so with that process, uh, on Michaela, it was, it, you know, it was a lot of, okay, here's the shot list this is what we're doing. And, uh, this is what our intention is. Let's do that. And then Lucas, is, he's such a great, uh, collaborator and he's really great at thinking on his feet and just kind of playing jazz. And so that shot is, I'm, um, almost certain that's just kind of one of those things where Lucas is like, I think I'm just going to pop this off real quick. What do you think? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's do it. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty good shot. I liked it. And, um, well, this, uh, Halloween fan film, uh, Eric, it talks about Michaela, how she's obsessed with horror films and especially Michael Myers in the scene when she was in her, uh, house in the living room when she just grabbed that Michael Myers mask right out of that package you just felt that um, hypnotic trance that it felt like the shape was really wanted her to take over the mantle and go on a killing spree that's how I felt yeah yeah and I, I really have Vic to thank for that I mean I mean you, you know you sort of picture things in your mind um, but I think Vic and Lucas um, really nailed that that aspect of it. The uh, the like you know she grabs it and it's it's yeah sort of uh, like Jim carries the mask or whatever almost <laughs> sort of you know takes her over at that point. So yeah. yeah, she's yeah you know she's just a young woman who's obsessed with the uh, with the uh, you know Halloween franchise like many of us are and. Um, the, uh, I'll say the, that mask was uh, created the same way the original mask was. I think it's a Don Post, and it, it uh, uh, our special effects master Jake Jackson, who's just the best around, um, took a Captain Kirk mask and actually converted it um, the same way the the original one was converted. So, um, so yeah. That's kind of cool. I like how you paid a homage to that, making that mask like that from the original one, what, you know, Nick Castle wore. I mean, he wore that pretty yeah. good. Um, I also like the kill scenes on there, too. Um, uh, the one kill scene I really loved was, you know, when her, um, you know, best friend was getting into the car. When she, you know, I'm not going to spoil it. She gets in the car, and then you see Michaela come from behind and just like, slits her throat it was like a perfect cut like a perfect surgeon cut and then yeah. and the thing that creeped me out about that scene was when she had that devious smile that smile she was staring at you straight at the camera that gave me some goosebumps hey, that's yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah we I met when we so when Eric gave me the script there was actually a I remember I one of the drafts had a lot more like blades and stabbing and things and I wanted to in a way subvert it a little bit and also for budget reasons you know you can't really uh, afford to pull off all these effect, uh, bloody effects but uh, you know I thought you know let's do something a little different and let's have her kill when she does kill people it's you know, just a little, di it's just a little different. It's not just constantly being stabbed or it's not just classic slasher 
sort of stuff. Like we have uh, Freddie get his head get smashed. Uh, Shelby did get stabbed in the back of the head, but it was, you know, something that you know it's just something a little different than you would normally see in a slasher film. I think. And we saved. I wanted to save the classic, just you know, slasher throat slicing action for the for the very last victim, her best friend. And so we put all of our we put a lot of effort into that. Jake Jackson, um, I can't sing that dude's praises enough because he's a, an amazing uh, VFX artist. Um, he really, you know, he showed up and really. He did some magical things with that blood gag. It was great. I thought it was good. It was this clean that felt like if it was like a professional surgeon, you know, that taught the, yeah. a- taught the actress, you know, Michaela, just to slice it. It was like a perfect slice and had the perfect amount of blood. It wasn't like over carried away. It was just like what would happen if it was really a person that really did get slit. You know, it's like, whoa, you know, yeah. you know, how do you reverse that? We rehearsed the action, the motion uh, a bit because we, we could only get it in one take. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, we couldn't do that gag more than once. So uh, Jake, myself, and uh, the two actresses, um, Haley and Amy, they just, you know, super professional, just, you know, practice, practice, practice. And, okay, now it's time to do it. You know, game time. Let's make it happen. And sure enough, everybody everybody uh, was, was on it. So Yeah, I love the yeah. end. The ending was good too. After after that perfect kill, she, um, she's still in that cold, ice frozen face, stone cold face. And then you see all these trick or treaters banging on her best friend's door for some candy. And here she is, just like strung like a normal trick or treater. And she, you know, and she just looks at the mask, which was freaky, and no one else didn't even pay attention. <laughs> yeah. Well, and let me, let me, you wrote oh, that in, Eric. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, um, I was gonna say on on that kill, I, I agree with you, Robin. I mean, that's that absolutely give, gave me goosebumps whenever I first saw it. That sort of um, kind of devious look that Michaela has on her face after she killed, like, I, I, I don't know, it's it's it shows everything without having any dialogue. And that that the throat cut itself, I think Jake Jackson or FX Maxer would say that that's it's not a difficult one to do but he really nailed it and if uh, you yeah, go back, that, if, yeah yeah, yeah. Um, if, if, if you go back and watch it Haley the actress almost threw up for real because she had um, she had you know blood in her mouth and she kind of like kind of like starts started eating on it. It. <laughs> yeah yeah so I would say go back okay. and watch that part again and, I will and you'll see she really did almost throw up so <laughs> Oh, you you know she was having fun. She had to ad lib it. Okay, I'll take a little bit of blood. I'll just ad lib it to make it authentic. She was having fun. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got some good behind the scenes photos from after that take. So yeah, that's wild. Um, I also love the film score. Uh, the film score was just perfect. I love wow. how the film score. Um, kind of mixed it with the original Halloween film score. You can hear a little bit of the Halloween th- themes from the original film mixed with the score you had in your film, which I thought was clever and cool too. Yeah, the uh, the uh, uh, our composer is uh, actually my roommate. He's here. He's upstairs. Uh, his name's <laughs> uh, Garrett Hall. Uh, he's awesome. He scores all of my all of my little projects and uh, I mean we live together so you know we're really really good friends um, I love that dude you know the, as much as I love to talk about movies um, you know and how much I love movies uh, this dude loves and can talk about music and the way that the way that a filmmaker would talk about movies is how the way that he talks about music and composers and so on and so forth um, but yeah the, to to the inspo for for the soundtrack was certainly the classic Halloween, but also um, I I was I was really moved by uh, Joker. Uh, I just thought that was a great movie, and uh, I really loved the soundtrack in that film as well. And uh, so I just I was talking to Garrick, and I said, "Hey, man, you know it's Halloween, but you know maybe we could do something similar to this." And then also. Um, I mean, I trust the dude wholeheartedly, so it's just kind of like, 
those are the notes. That's it. Just make it great because I know you will. I mean, it. Yeah, it I mean, go ahead. My, yeah, no, my notes were were very similar. I mean, it was basically just you know have it be Halloween inspired, and then you know do your own thing. Um, you know, make it cool. You know, I, I, I like I have a saying. I like to hire talented people and then get the hell out of their way. Um, so, so that's that's yeah. So the, I I, did, I had minimal notes for him also. That that's pretty cool. Um. Also, before we got on, um, Eric, you were talking about you're getting ready to do another uh, short film. Um, can you tell me a little bit about it without you know spoiling it? Yeah, yeah. It's um, yeah. Vic, I'm sorry. Is I did, haven't asked you to do it. Uh, <laughs> everybody, everybody's. Uh, it's it's very short. Um, it's only three pages, and nobody's getting paid. So, um, so. Uh, it's yeah it's i don't want to spoil too much it's about a um a young woman who's a clown the the entire thing is mos there's zero dialogue uh it it takes place um uh, it's basically about a a, an abused uh young woman who she's a clown for a living the name of it's super happy fun clown and uh so she basically she hands out flyers for her living and her husband is a uh uh, this is it, um, the clown is played by Jennifer Seward, who is in um, uh, she, she was in Michaela. She was the teacher. She was in Beard Cigarettes, uh, Vic's other uh, short that he directed, and she played Sam in in I Am Lisa. So she's the clown, and then another local actor, Chad Chad Crenshaw, is uh, her husband, and, oh, and he's yeah. that sounds badass. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm intrigued. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I would, I would, we, I, we've got, you know, Evan Wansh is going to DP, Matt Garrett is going to first AC. That's literally, we've got those two, and then we've got Rob Fizz and Jacob Shermerhorn, and, and that is it. I mean, no sound department at all. There's zero dialogue, so we can enter it in um, competitions around the, uh, around the world. Um, I, I really kind of wanted to do something like that. It's, it's a good, um, I think writing exercise to do something with zero dialogue. Uh, and it's just, I, I, I enjoy, I like the, the idea of the commonality that it, it, it's like I said, that we can enter it in, in yeah. around the world. And, and um, so the whole thing is done over the uh, score of uh, Scott Joplin's Maple Leaf Rag, which is a, is a little, uh, a little song that is in the public domain. So, um, uh, so yeah, you would recognize it if you heard it. Cool. And then, um, so, so anyway, she comes home every day from her job as a clown and is, is not, uh, to a husband who's a, uh, slovenly pig. And, uh, you know, she eventually, uh, does something that, uh, will churn your stomach. Yeah. Uh, I, I basically, I, I, I gave it to one of our friends, Travis Yeomans and, and he's like, Oh man, this is great. And then I sent it to Patrick Ray, who's the director of I Am Lisa, and he kind of begrudgingly, he just wrote back, he was like, yeah, we got to make this. So it's just, it's just two days. Um, we're going to do, we're going to shoot interiors on March 26th, and that's why we're not going to Horror Hound. Because, um, you know, even scheduling, even having such a small crew, it's still, you know, scheduling is always <laughs> difficult. Oh, oh, so. Yeah. I mean, it's Patrick is, Patrick's a, a legend, you know, uh, I respect the hell out of that man. He's given me so much uh, great advice and being the AD for him is a privilege. He's, he's great. <laughs> I like how you said that. Yeah. Um, now you guys got I, me. I Go ahead. No, I, 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 in the same way, can't say enough about Patrick Ray. Um, yeah, you know, he I, edited I think he's... Taylor for us. Um, very surprising. Yeah, he edited it. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He he edited Michaela for us also, so he's part of the Michaela process also. Nice. But, um, yeah, he he. I mean, especially with I Am Lisa, which was the first movie I wrote. I mean, he really took me under his wing, and you know, um, involved me a lot. And you know, a lot of people wouldn't do that, but he did. And uh, yeah, I think it was Vic or somebody said after we shot I Am Lisa. They're like, man, you probably learned more on shooting 
I am Lisa over three weeks than I did in four years of film school. <laughs> and with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. No, that was me. Yeah, yeah. I so, thought it was you. Um, so yeah. you, you got me intrigued. What is I am Lisa about? I need to check it's, this out. It's a werewolf yeah. movie. It's a werewolf movie. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking about it. I didn't write it. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Go ahead. You're a big part of it, man. <laughs> I just kept everyone on time. I yelled at people if I had to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Usually extras. Usually extras. They only had like 30 able. extras. That was rough. That was bad on my throat. That's yeah. pretty cool. I'll definitely check that out. I think I saw it on Tubi. But where can everybody f- find you on social media and follow you guys for your upcoming projects? Um, so there, uh, there is – Michaela does have its own um, uh, uh, social media accounts like Instagram and uh, Twitter uh, – I am not the best at updating those. Uh, I do have, you know, an I am Lisa one. Let me just look and see. I think it's under twitter.com slash Michaela movie. Well, my, my personal, my Instagram is uh, thick uh, underscore grip underscore pics. All right, that's that's pretty easy. And then you know, if everybody wants to find you on uh, find the Twitter and uh, Instagram and all that, it's Michaela. Okay. Yeah, it's at Michaela. It's at Michaela Movie. Um, I have not been the best at updating that one. I I think eventually what I'm going to do is you know I've, I've got the I am Lisa one, which yes, by all means, please check it out. It's a revenge werewolf uh, flick with you know. The werewolfism is used as a metaphor, which is, you know, uh, something I took from, uh, you know, movies like Ginger Snaps and stuff like that. So by all means, please check it out. Um, That one's available to watch for free with ads on Tubi, Vudu, YouTube. Um, It's on Peacock, Apple TV, uh, uh, Amazon Freebie. Uh, So it's it's available to watch everywhere. Um, And it's it's. Um, been incredibly successful to the point that we're, we're working on making a sequel for it. So, um, so th- that one is um, I uh, Twitter at I am Lisa movie, and I think I'm eventually going to just consolidate everything I do under that, uh, just just to make things easier. <laughs> uh, because I, you know, I int- I intend on on continuing to make movies. So. Um, so anyway, yeah, I am Lisa Movie or Michaela Movie. All right, guys, thank you for coming on and uh, coming on the Horror Pop After Midnight and uh, sh- um, sharing your films and all that. Thanks yeah. for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thank you. Everybody have a great evening.